My name is Gelson Mwanza. My name is Maximo Mwape. In this video, we are going to demonstrate on how to remove the pistons and how to insert them. So the, the first thing that we have to do before we start uh, removing the, the pistons, which piston are we going to remove? If it is piston 1 or piston 2 or piston 3? Like in this case, we are going to remove piston number 1. So we are going to untighten the bolts and nuts for the cone load cap so that we remove, we remove it freely and softly. So uh, like we said, we are going to untighten the nuts for this cap, cone load cap so that we remove the, the cone load cap. And the, we should make sure when we are untightening, we have to untighten it correctly so that we don't damage the nut, even the threads. We have to remove the con load cap. If we remove the con load cap, then we push the piston so that it can move out from sitting the ball. Then if I have to use this the something that is soft. Like in this case, I'm going to use uh, this this soft wooden hammer. That's the thing that I'm going to to use. So I have to push it slowly like that. Then I remove the the nut and I remove also. A con, con load cap. Then now have to get also the soft hammer. I start pushing, moving slowly, slowly. And finally, we have removed the piston. And this piston, it has got some rings. It has got three rings. The ring number one, which is on top, is for air compression. The ring number two, it's for also air compression. The ring number three, it's for oil controlling. It acts as the oil scraper. So now, uh, we are going to demonstrate on how to insert the piston. Then we have to clean the all pistons and even the, the rings. We have to clean them. If we clean them, then we clean the cylinder bow. If we clean the cylinder bow, then we have to get the oil can we abrogate the cylinder bow, even the the, the 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 piston. Then after that, we have to insert it. So like here, I'm cleaning. I have to make sure that I remove some dirt. If I clean, then I should make sure that there is no dirt inside the, the cylinder bowl. I have to clean it. Yeah, like that. After that, I have to get to oil can. I have to abrogate the cylinder bowl, even the, the piston pin. I have to abrogate it like that. Yeah. If I do that then mm -hmm. the reason why we uh, we used to rubricate is to avoid the friction friction we have to avoid friction so that this thing they can work according to the way they're supposed to work but before we insert, we insert the piston we have to space the ring gaps. The reason why we space the ring gaps is just to protect the compression inductions that will be taking place during compression store stroke. I'm about to installing the piston, but I have to master the rear and the front of the piston pin. I have to make sure that I follow 
the right part to install the piston the piston so like if for this one it has got front and rear so the front one it should do point to the front of the engine and the rear one it should do a point to the rear part of an engine i'm going to install the piston this is piston number one I'm going to store piston number one and I have to tighten I should make sure it is tightened so that I insert my piston clearly mm -hmm. Now I have to get the the hammer. We have to get the hammer. The hammer that we are going to use, we are going to use the soft wooden hammer. That's the hammer we are going to use. And I have to push it in. slowly, 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 slowly. I have to push it in slowly. Push, push. There it comes. Uh, right now, I'm going to get the coin load cap. But I should make sure also that the coin load cap has been cleaned and lubricated. lubricated. Even when setting the coin load cap, you have to follow the front and the rear. So, like on this coin load, the front part is this one. So, I'm going to insert it like this the front one should be in on front even the back one it should be at the rear i have to put them on con load but i have to put them on con load but when i get the spanner i have to tighten them I have to tighten them. I have to tighten them. I have to tighten them. That's how we do piston removal and installation.